and I want to go back and, and, and talk about the progression of the career. But before we do that, I want to just briefly talk about what the Seattle music scene was like 1972 through 75. That's something that a lot of people, only a few people in this room, I, I was too young. I actually didn't move to Seattle until 75. Right. Yeah. So how, when I talk to people over the years and they talk about how kind of sleepy, quiet, impossible it was for the idea of anybody in a band that they were going to break out of Seattle in that yeah, era. Yeah. Well, you know, of course, I uh, moved to Vancouver in 1972 and came back in 78. So um, Nancy was, you were here then, right? I was you were graduating in 72 and went to university for a couple years after that in Oregon. So, um, but we'd sort of played in our little bands together before and went up north. And uh, we'd played like a youth fair kind of stuff and some folk festival places around these parts. The viewpoints. Yeah. In a folk, sort of folk rock organization we called the Viewpoints. And, um, and, you know, there were bands like the Sonics that were playing, and the Wailers, and... Barely in the Turnabouts. Barely in the Turnabouts, and there's always been a strong Seattle music scene here, I think, in every era. But, um, you know, as far as being a, a hotbed where, where people can, you know, spark a career out of it, um, it's probably... That only comes along every decade or so out of Seattle, but it's come along quite a few times out of Seattle, you know. Well, especially in the 90s, of course, but, yeah. but I think it's that Seattle um, was especially important in, <clears throat> in the late 60s through the 70s as a breathing ground, you know, as a place where, for instance, Jimi Hendrix, you know, could, could learn to play and be a kid and, uh, who was obsessed. And, uh, <laughs> The things that exist here, the imagery that you see every day here, the um, just the way the weather is, the way people are, all those things go together in those years to make you think and write and play a certain way when you're learning. So, um, you know, in Seattle, even though I wasn't here, I came down to visit now and then from Vancouver. And Vancouver and Seattle are just not that different, really. I think, it's I think mostly rainy Seattle, rainy weather, you know, yeah. northwest or rainy weather is good songwriting weather. Yeah. <laughs> it's good creative weather because you're not just, you know, sporting all the time outside, you know. No. <laughs> you just can't do it. <laughs> you have to go inside and think about stuff, you know. <laughs> That's probably why the Atlanta hip-hop scene just didn't kind of... <laughs> perhaps, perhaps one of the reasons, yes. Let's, I want you to play something here, and I, I asked you if you'd play this song that's on your new record, but it's also a song that you originally had done with the Love Mongers. Right. And maybe before you play it, just talk about the songwriting or how the idea came together. And yeah, well, 